Good morning. We shall read the entrance and different for the Mass. The Lord has led you into a land flowing with milk and honey, that the law of the Lord may always be on your lips. Hallelujah. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Let's ask God to forgive our sins and to make us worthy to celebrate this Holy Eucharist. I confess, and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most gravest fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters. <clears throat> May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. pray. O God, who give constant increase to your church by new, new offspring, grant that your servants may hold fast in their lives to the sacrament they have received in faith. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. On the day of Pentecost, Peter stood up with the eleven, raised his voice, and proclaimed, You who are Jews, indeed all of you staying in Jerusalem, let this be known to you, and listen to my words. You are 
you who are children of Israel, hear these words. Jesus, the Nazarene, was a man commended to you by God with mighty deeds, wonders, and signs, which God worked through him in your midst, as you yourselves know. This man delivered up by the set plan and foreknowledge of God, you killed, using lawless men to crucify him. But God raised him up, releasing him from the throes of death, because it is impossible for him to be held by it. For David says of him, I saw the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand, I shall not be disturbed. Therefore, my heart has been glad and my tongue has exalted. My flesh, too, will dwell in hope because you will not abandon your, my soul to the netherworld, nor will you suffer your Holy One to see corruption. You have made known to me the paths of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence. My brothers, one can confidently say to you about the patriarch, David, that he died and was buried, and his tomb is in our midst to this day. But since he was a prophet and knew that God had sworn an oath to him that he would, be, that he would set one of his descendants upon his throne, he foresaw and spoke of the resurrection of Christ, that neither was he abandoned to the netherworld, nor did his flesh see corruption. God raised this Jesus. Of this we are all witnesses. Exalted at the right hand of God, he poured forth the promise of the Holy Spirit that he received from the Father as you both see and hear. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Keep me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, my Lord are you. O Lord, my allotted portion and my cup. You it is who hold fast my lot. Keep me safe, O God. You are my hope. I bless the Lord who counsels me. Even in night, my heart extols me. I set the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand, I shall not be disturbed. Keep me safe, O God. You are my hope. Therefore, my heart is glad and my soul rejoices. My body, too, abides in confidence because you will not abandon my soul to the netherworld, nor will you suffer your faithful, faithful one to undergo corruption. Keep me safe, O God. You are my hope. You will show me the path to life, fullness of joys in your presence, the delights of your right hand forever. Keep me safe, O God. You are my hope. Hallelujah, hallelujah. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went away quickly from the tomb, fearful yet overjoyed and ran to announce the news to his disciples. And behold, Jesus met them on their way and greeted them. They approached and embraced his feet and did him homage. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go, tell my brothers to go to Galilee, and there they will see me. 
while they were going, some of the guards went into the city and told the chief priest all that had happened. The chief priest assembled with the elders and took counsel. Then they gave a large sum of money to the soldiers, telling them, you ought to say his disciples came by night and stole him while we were asleep. And if this gets to the ears of governor, we will satisfy him and keep you out of trouble. The soldiers took the money and did as they were instructed. And this story has circulated among the Jews to the present day. The Gospel of the Lord. In the world, we see good and bad, truth and lies. But at the end, it is good and, that is, and truth that prevails. This we see in today's gospel reading, two groups of people, two women, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary, simple women, they see Jesus and Jesus gives them a mission. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. On the other hand, a group of Roman soldiers, when we say Roman guard, it consists of 60 soldiers. Even if some sleep, some would be guarding. So they know what happened. They know the truth. And they went and told the priest and the, the other elders what had happened. On the other hand, they, instead of rejoicing and accepting that Jesus rose, they told the soldiers, go and tell people that when we are asleep, his disciples came and stole the body. And they, they have given him a large sum of money. So Jesus tells this woman to spread the truth. Here the Pharisees and other elders are asking the soldiers to spread the falsehood, the untruth. But what prevailed at the end is truth. For 2,000 years, the truth of Jesus' resurrection has been spreading everywhere. But even in this modern world, we still find people who try to spread the falsehood about Christ. Today, as we are here celebrating and rejoicing in the resurrection of Jesus, our Savior, let's ask him to bless us and to help us that we might be people who spread goodness and truth. We shall all stand and pray for our needs. For the church, may the Holy Spirit continue to guide and protect her in this Easter season and magnify her a light of truth and goodness in the world. We pray to the Lord. For world leaders, may the Lord bless them with a fearless vision to act for the true common good of those who govern. We pray, we pray to the Lord. For all those who struggle with addiction, have caused separation from their families, may they, through the mercy of God, be reconciled with their loved ones. We pray to the Lord. For those who were welcomed into the church at the Easter Vigil, may they continue to grow in the gifts and fruits of the Holy Spirit. We pray to the Lord. For all the deceased family members, May they soon share in the joy of the resurrected Christ. We pray to the Lord. And for what else shall we pray now? Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer.
We shall pray for Ken, Ken Ward, the senior, for whose intention this Mass is offered. We pray to the Lord. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we humbly pray that you grant these petitions and prayers through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord our God. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept graciously, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your peoples, that renewed by confession of your name and by baptism, they may attain unending happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. <clears throat> Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to praise you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, we overcome with paschal joy. Every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy Lord God of Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. But this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. 
we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection and he'll come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Paul, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co host to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. We shall pray for the coming of God's kingdom as Jesus taught us. Our Father, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, honored as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. As we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of Jesus Christ be with you always. Lamb of God, we take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and the soul shall be saved.
communion antiphon. Christ, having risen from the dead, dies now no more. Death will no longer have dominion over him. Alleluia. Let us pray. <clears throat> May the grace of this Paschal Sacrament abound in our minds, we pray, O Lord, and make those you have set on the way of eternal salvation worthy of your gifts. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. We shall go in peace. Alleluia, alleluia. Pray to St. Michael the Archangel. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of Heavenly Host, by the power of God, crushed and hell Satan, all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls.